Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Yeah, baby! If you had to choose one case to be the ultimate hard case for your electronics that's waterproof, uh, beat proof, and you could probably go swimming with it, which is it? Let's find out. Which are the best cases on the market? You might have already seen the name here for your delicate electronics, your cameras, or anything else you care about to protect? Well, let's find out in a moment. But first, if you wouldn't mind, just click the subscribe button just below the video there or click the little arrow below it and hit subscribe or there's a little, you know, easy to subscribe because in hitting subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. You don't get a hundred emails, but it makes it much easier for me to run this channel. So if you wouldn't mind, just click that guy, keep watching, and then, you know, no problem. Now, when you have electronics, cameras, gear that you really care about, optics, glass, binoculars, you know, who knows what, how do you transport them safely and effectively? How do you put them on an airplane and think, you know, Hey, I'm putting my expensive camera gear or my electronics or my laptop or anything onto an airplane or a cargo or whatever. How do you know it's going to survive the trip? Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to guarantee you that your item is going to make it. That, that's, that's one thing, you know, depending on the airlines or your shipper. But when your electronics show up at the end and they're all smashed to pieces, there's a way around that. So the Pelican cases, and it's, let's get the little price tag there. And you can see this guy here. This is a watertight case. It actually shows some guy swimming in there. <clears throat> Let me uh, take this tag off so you can see the whole label. Booyah, there we go. Okay. So let me show you the whole label of this thing. So you can see some dude diving under a wave, swimming and taking this case underwater. Yes, you can literally take these cases underwater. Now, does Pelican recommend it? No, of course not. But the cases have this uh, little valve thing here. So when you put your equipment or anything and it goes into an airline, the airline flies up to 30, 35,000 feet. What happens with some sealed cases is that they will actually expand and crack the seam because of the air pressure inside. So this valve is designed to let air out. That way nothing still comes in, but it lets air out, and that way the case doesn't explode or crack. Now, could that happen? Yes, because other people have had it happen with cheaper cases, so that's a major factor. Now, why would you care about having a hard case? Well, here, let me show you. Now, one of the things I'll show you the different aspects of these different Pelican cases. You can check this guy out. I'm going to open this up and it, they have different different latching mechanisms which I'll show as well. With this Vortex here, you can see my expensive optics rig and of course I've got a Ziploc on there, but you can see my very expensive optics rig. Now, all of this uh, specialty equipment, would I want that dropped or smashed or damaged in any way? No, because that, that uh, hardware allows me to take specialty photographs, tilt shift, all this craziness. Now, do you really need to know that? No, but I just want to illustrate. Oh, here's my, uh, here's my tool. Cool, I'll just throw that down for a moment. But I'll illustrate there my specialty Nikon case and everything. Now, one of the cool things about these Pelican cases is they come with this pick pluck foam, where when I press the foam, See those little squares there? They kind of dent out. What this foam allows you to do is custom make the slots for all of your different equipment without having to order custom expensive foam. And you can actually, if you totally mess up or you want a new rig, a new foam rig, you can actually buy these cubes of foam that fit into the different cases. Now, this particular case is the the IM200, and this other case here is the, which one is this? Um, just, oh yeah, yeah, the 1450 here, 1450. Now, Pelican comes with a lot of different cases. I will put 
links to the Pelican website so you can look up these different cases and also links to Amazon so you can get the specific cases I show in the videos. Because if you if you have delicate electronics or maybe pistols or uh, you know whatever you really care about to transport, there probably is nothing better than these. I would say the the only one that are comparable, the only types of cases that are comparable to Pelican cases are the SKBs. And I'll, I'll put a link to those below and I'm going to make a another video for the SKB and I'll, I'll cross link that so you can check them out. They're very comparable. So, but the Pelican is really the gold standard. The military uses these things all the time. So if the military uses them, you know they're super tough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple features of this case. The first is the latching system. So on this new 1450, you'll see this waggling latch here, right? Now you think, oh, that, that's a cheap design, it shouldn't do that. Well, in fact, it's really nice that it does do that because, and I get my face in here, that latch, when it's down, it's kind of hard to get your fingers under there. But when that latch opens up, it's very easy to pop that case open. I had my 93 year old grandfather test this thing and he had no problems both locking and unlocking the case. So he, he had no problem. I mean, he, he's not exactly a crank it on the super grip Alex Honnold finger strength there. The second very nice feature about these cases is they have steel locks. It's not just plastic, but the lock is actually steel encased around here so you get a, a long shackle lock or even a somewhat short shackle lock and you can put a lock on this thing on this side and on this side so this prevents people from oh, let me get that off me from getting into your case so say if you need to fly with a firearm or something where you don't want anybody to get in but you still have to have the TSA regulated locks or whatever that is, the Pelican case has these steel lock points on it, which is super, super nice. And you'll see the hinges on the back. One nice thing about the Pelican case is when you set it down, it's super flat. Now, this particular case, the 1450 is heavy. It's, it's pushing like eight or nine pounds. I mean, they're not light, but they're basically invincible. You could drop them from a long way nothing would happen. Other case manufacturers, the bottom is not flat, so it tilts and rocks, which is freaking frustrating, unfortunately. So that, that's one thing about the Pelican cases, they're totally flat. One thing I wish the Pelican cases did, however, was that was when they open, they, they have a detent to kind of stop it there, which is nice, but they only open this far, so it's a laptop style opening. A lot of the cases, I wish they folded open completely like a briefcase, but they just don't. And you can see the inside egg crate foam here and the, uh, the square foam. So you can make up whatever shapes you want. And you lock that thing, you lock it there, and you can basically take your electronics into the ocean. You don't want to, but you can. This particular style handle, it's heavy as heck, but it can flip back and forth. Now. Let's look at the storm case, the uh, I, was it, uh, IM2100. This guy here, there's my name and phone number and email if you want to call and spam me. But this style case is a little bit different. The handle has locking points. So it goes up and it doesn't fall down completely. So it's actually easier to pick up. I prefer that style. The lock here is a little bit different. It requires you to press in and then unlatch and it actually requires virtually no force so it's a press and open. Also this particular storm case has standard lock holes. It doesn't have the steel reinforced like the, the 1450 and that sort of series. So if you need the extra security you need to get that. And this also has the vortex style. So this is more of a waterproof case but not an ultra security case. So they definitely have some options here. Again, this style, very bo flat bottom. So the case stands completely flat. So if you want to have the ultimate protection for your gear, the Pelican cases are unquestionably the standard. SKB cases are also great. Again, I'll put a link to those below. But if you need to protect your camera, your hardware or anything else, Pelican cases are it. 
highly recommended. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little down arrow, hit the subscribe button, it makes it easy for me to keep this going. Please also support me on PayPal and Venmo. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.